It wasn't long ago that rescue workers trained by climbing for hours, even days, to reach mountaintops to practice in extreme weather conditions. Today, they can do so in a lab. In these rooms, we can reproduce environments from negative 40 degrees Celsius up to 60 degrees. In terms of altitude, we can go up to 9,000 meters. We combine wind, snow, and rain, and we have an entire research department that studies these effects on people. This is the Terex Cube Extreme Climate Simulation Center, a part of URAC research. Here, scientists study the impact of altitude and extreme weather on participants' blood thickness and its ability to carry oxygen. Last year, the facility served as an incubator for mountain climbers Simone Morrow and Tamara Lunger. They were acclimated in our room for about a month. They were slowly brought up to 7,000 meters altitude. They trained inside. We monitored them with researchers and doctors. The goal is always to understand how man behaves scientifically in a process of acclimatization. The researchers also look at what happens to heavy machinery exposed to the same extreme climates, Stur explains. We did some defrosting tests on big machines. These are cabins where people have to be inside. The test was to understand how fast the glass can defrost. He says that test measures the quality of the glass, which is essential for machinery operating in extreme temperatures. Terex Cube received national accreditation to carry out climate tests not only on objects, but also on living beings. The URAC Research Center has more than 400 scientists and officials say collaborating to understand the effects of climate change may be its most important work. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.